Now we'll talk about splitting and combining fractions. Two fractions, if you add them or subtract them, like you see here, two fractions can be combined into a single fraction. And a lot of times this is really easy to do. For example, two sevenths plus three sevenths is five sevenths. Okay, pretty easy. And that concept works with variables as well as with numbers. A over seven plus B over seven would be A plus B over seven. And let's come on down the page here. Sometimes the result can be simplified. Like watch this, 3A over, 3A over five plus 8A over five would be 3A plus 8A over five. And the numerator here, 3A plus 8A would be 11A. So we get 11A over five. We've just simplified our numerator a little bit. Now a fraction with two terms in the numerator, like we see here, see the two terms in the numerator, we have this plus that all over z. A fraction like this can be split into two fractions. 5x plus 6y all over z could be split up like this. 5x over z plus 6y over z. This is conceptually the same thing as the examples we've been doing earlier, just in reverse. We're splitting up the fraction instead of uh, combining it. But don't get tricked when there's an expression down here in the denominator. 5x plus 6y over this will be 5x over this plus 6y over this. Note that this problem is almost identical to the one up above it. The only difference is this plus 1 in the denominator. So let's look at this one again real quick. 5x plus 6y over z gave me 5x over z plus 6y over z. Now do the same thing, but instead of z, we have z plus 1. So 5x plus 6y over z plus 1 is going to be 5x over z plus 1 plus 6y over z plus 1. And I'll tell you the mistake people make in a problem like this. The mistake is to uh, you're given a problem that looks like this, and you're told to split it up into two fractions. So some people just take out a knife and just slice it right down the middle like that. And they say, okay, this is going to be 5x over z plus 6y over 1. And that is wrong. We can't just split a fraction down the middle like that. The correct approach is to recognize that 5x plus 6y over this will be the same as 5x over this plus 6y over this. And that's what we have written here. So let's come on down the page here. This general concept can be stated using variables. So write this in your notes. a plus b over c, that can be written as a over c plus b over c. And that's, that works as long as c is not 0. So you might want to write here c is not equal to 0 because we can't have 0 in the denominator. But this concept is important. a plus b over c is equal to a over c plus b over c. And these things, a, b, and c, those could be any real numbers, or they could be any variables, or they could be any mathematical expressions. So with that in mind, let's look at a few more examples. 2x plus 3y over 5. That could be split up into two fractions like this. 2x over 5 plus 3y over 5. 4a minus 3b over 2x minus y. Remember, don't just chop it down the middle like that. To split this into two fractions, we have to do 4a over the denominator minus 3b over the denominator, like that. All right, continuing our examples here, 2a plus 17m over 5b minus 12n. We want to split that up into two fractions. Well, it would be 2a over the denominator plus 17m over the denominator. So we write it like this, 2a over 5b minus 12n plus 17m over 
5b minus 12n. Okay, one more example. 6x minus 11y over 4a plus 3b, and you should be catching on now. This could be rewritten as 6x over that whole denominator minus 11y over that whole denominator. And we'll also say that two fractions can be combined into a single fraction if they have the same denominator. So here we have 2a over 3 minus 4b over 3. That can be written as 2a minus 4b all over 3. We can combine those if the denominators are the same. A couple more examples similar to that. 3 over 2x plus 5a over 2x could be written as 3 plus 5a over 2x. And the last one, 7 over 3x minus 5 minus 2y over 3x minus 5. We note that these denominators are the same, so we can combine the numerators. That's 7 minus 2y over 3x minus 5.